Welcome to PGCast. My name is Josh Branchad. In this episode, we're going to be looking at how you can come up with a better null display character when looking at data in PSchool. In this episode, I'm going to show you how we can come up with a better display character for null values. But before we get into that, let's look at an example to give us a better idea of why we even want a display character for null values. To start, we'll grab a user's table with a required email field and an optional first name and last name field. We also have a handful of records that we'll insert off the bat. We'll paste that into our P School session here. Now let's take a look at uh, some of these records in our users table with the table command. We can see all of our user records here. Some last name columns have been left null, but one has a value of an empty string. But we can't really tell the difference between the two. The problem is that PSQL is displaying null values with a blank string, which is indistinguishable from an actual blank string. Browsing data like this in a PSQL session is going to get frustrating very quickly. Essentially, we need a better null display character, something that really stands out. My preference is the empty set symbol. And this can be set with the pset meta command. We've got that right here. So we'll bring that over. We've now set the null display character to the empty set symbol instead of a blank string. And if we take another look at our users table, we can see the difference. That's much better. We can easily distinguish between nulls and blank strings now. I always want this option set when starting a PSQL session, so I go a step further and actually add this to my PSQL RC file. And you can go ahead and do the same. Now you may be wondering, is there any meaningful difference between a blank string and a null value? Or why are we allowing null values in the first place? These are both questions for another episode. So until then, thanks for watching.